Hey guys, Bicebump here bringing you this Frost Death Knight The War Within leveling video. Today we'll cover the leveling talents as well as some tips and tricks regarding the rotation and some other things you can do to speed up and make your leveling process a bit easier. Uh, starting out, let's have a look at the talents. So uh, what you're going to be running here is a obliteration build, which kind of looks like the two-hander obliteration myth plus build. We could pick up things like absolute zero, we pick up cryogenic chamber, that kind of thing that helps us do big burst damage on a lot of mobs essentially to make it easier for us to get a lot of mobs and then a we them down quickly as that is the quickest way to level um this is both dual will and two-handed builds i would say generally dual will does go into shattering frost and that kind of thing which leverages um, race rights stacks and burst those however mobs die too quickly for that to actually have, actually have any effect so um, those talents are generally not worthwhile to pick up and that's why we go into things like absolute zero and cryogenic chamber which always bring value for the hero talents we are going to run um, rider of the apocalypse we can pick up on a pale horse at level 71 which is just insane when it comes to mobility you can mount up your accurate death charger you just go into your uh, mount journal you click on accurate death charger it actually gives you a new um, Kind of look for it compared to the old one and it means that you can fight while you're mounted so you, you don't get dismounted when you press abilities when you use this ability when you uh, use this on a pale hall so that is the first thing you want to get and then you go straight down the middle pick up your capstone and then just kind of fill out whatever you feel like it doesn't matter that much that's the general vibe i would say you can probably swap out glacial advance for something else if you want to because you don't get that much value from it but in general these are the, the go-to talents for class 3 we pick up things like brave walk and march of darkness to make sure that we are as fast as possible because speed is generally what matters when you do leveling now for the rotation what you're going to be able to do is use howling blast quite a lot even without prox of rhyme because it's a generally the best tool we have to group up and pick up enemies in a big area so you're on your horse you're mounted up you run around you do howling blast of mobs and then they all get up to you you can use death grip to get them a bit quicker if the mobs are lobs put down death, put down death in a K to be able to cleave but generally it's just you know pop remorse swinter use your pillar when that comes up and then just blast down the mobs it's really not that um, difficult it's quite straightforward also, absolute zero means that Frost and Fury is a one and a half minute cooldown, so you want to use that as much as possible. Early levels, things die a bit too quickly for that to actually have an effect, but later on, you are going to be able to get good value by grouping up big uh, amounts of mobs and then just uh, press Frost and Fury to kill them all at the same time. I must say, uh, Frost DK, it is a bit slower to level compared to Unholy. And hole is much more straightforward when it comes to putting out damage as you just dot everything up and it dies from the dots frost you kind of have to dot it up it has to come to you you have to make contact with the mobs to deal damage so you have to actually be in melee range to get some killing machine procs or you use your pillar every 45 seconds but again that's only every 45 seconds and in between those times you don't have the best way of dealing good damage to uh, the mobs as you level up so if you have to choose i would actually pick on hole in for instead of frost but if you really want frost this is what you should do when it comes to dual wield versus two-hander, I think two-hander has a bit of an edge due to the fact that it deals more upfront damage with your obliterates. Dual wield is more about procs, but you actually have to hit the mob for a while for that, for that to gain some proper value. For reinforgers, I had a couple options. For two-hander, Fallen Crusader, or Unending First are your good ones. Unending First gives you a bit of mobility, which can be nice, but a little bit less damage. For dual will, it's generally Razor Eyes plus either Fallen Crusader on Unending First, or you can just do Fallen Crusader and on Unending First on either of your weapons. It's a bit flexible as well, uh, and nothing that is like strictly much, much better than the other. I would also pick up um, the um, kind of speed food I got up here, so you can actually um, get some movement speed whenever you kill a mob. It's quite useful. Finally, when you get your capstone as Frost DK, your tier set actually means that Pillar summons the uh, the riders for you. So uh, as soon as you get back down there and then uh, to the capstone, you're going to see a big uptick in DPS because every 45 seconds you press Pillar and you get four riders that are going to come out and just obliterate any enemies that you're fighting with. 
So um, I wouldn't swap out of the tier set that quickly. I believe it's the two set that actually triggers this. So you can go four set, just swap that out whenever you get a bigger eye level improvement. But two set, keep that because uh, the fact how it synergizes with pillar means that it's super, super strong. All right, that was just a quick video about talents and tips, that kind of thing. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments down below. Upload, downvote, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.